Now, for everybody who said they was finna leave the country if this man won, all right? Stand on business. Go ahead and book your flights now so that way you get the best price. When we talk about living with the consequences of Trump now being president again, I want you all to put facts behind it, and I want you all to put numbers behind it. Because come to find out, the Green Party and their voters were never the problem. Folks were more than okay with Obama scolding black men. To which I made a video and I said, black men are not the problem. Why are folks not pulling YT women to the front of the class? People scolded Muslim Americans. To which I also said, we are not the problem. And then the multitude of comments that I got that said, good luck with a Trump president. As though somehow all Americans don't end up with whoever is president elect. And I personally think a lot of people wanted Kamala to win simply because it would absolve them from the work that you would have to do after election day. When the reality is, and as so many people have said throughout this election cycle, that Republicans have been organizing and building for the past four years. But some folks were so fixated on people being single issue voters, negating the fact that people on the left did not want Trump to win but wanted accountability for the Democratic Party to put policies and plans in place that they could get behind. So you mean to tell me this woman really lost the election and left her people standing there? This woman left, didn't say a word to nobody. No, hey, you done put in all these months for me, all this work. I ain't gonna say nothing to you. Appreciate you coming out, no nothing. I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow. Ooh, it's a liquor store. Watch the maids for money tonight. I got a question for the women. Why is y'all making this shit about black women? Kamala Harris did not give a fuck about black people at all. Kamala Harris, y'all making that, y'all trying to turn this independency shit to a whole nother level. That's what y'all were trying to do during the whole election. Y'all wasn't actually seeing what the fuck she gonna do for the United States of America. Some of y'all didn't even give a fuck about that. Y'all just wanted a black woman in president, even though the motherfucker wasn't black. But she talked that talk for y'all and embedded in y'all head that she was black and she never said she was. But she talked the talk, but in y'all minds, it's like, oh, a black sister gonna be president. But y'all bypassed all the, the bullshit she done done with Joe Biden is same-sex marriages and, and, and gender LBG can play in the same sports with women and LBG, whatever the fuck they call, can be in the bathroom. Probably with, it's okay for, you, for them to be in the bathroom with your fucking kids. Y'all ain't even looking at that. Y'all mind is so stuck on a so-called black woman being president. And, and she was trying to get the, the black men vote just by telling them what she gonna do for black men and open up dispensaries for black men and business and shit like that. And some of y'all females fell for that shit. Then jumped online saying, y'all not gonna vote and she trying to do something for y'all. And this and this and that. See, black men or some men or white men or Chinese men, they didn't fall for none of that bullshit. Y'all females, some of y'all females, because you got to say some of them because y'all motherfucking bitches be getting in y'all feelings. Some of y'all females fell for the shit on what she was supposed to be doing for black men. So that's some of y'all females' problems with y'all relationship because y'all date these men and they'll sell y'all a dream and y'all just believe them off rip. Then y'all get pregnant and the motherfucker don't do shit. And that was the same shit Kamala did, would try to do, try to tell what they what she gonna do for black men and, and motherfuckers already knew she wasn't gonna do shit. Okay, so what? She didn't make to be pre fucking president. Cool. Some of y'all bitches can give y'all pussy a break from getting these abortions. Y'all gotta look at it like that for the next four years, y'all can relax. Let y'all pussy get back intact because too many abortions y'all pussy don't go back the same then on top of that you get mad at the men for not even paying y'all attention because you know you they know your pussy is trash for them being honest and telling you but that's beside the point the point is she not president everybody want to see what trump gonna do 
to fix the problem with this war shit on top of that. And that's it. Y'all can't do nothing about it. Y'all can't. And you never know. Because they probably fuck around and um, about a week later and say the, the, the polls been rigged and, and there's more Democrats than Republicans. So she might, you know what I'm saying? You never know, ladies. She might be president. You never know. Keep your heads up, though. You never know, though. I'm just saying. The way this world is fucked up, you never know. You probably wake up in the morning, and next thing you know, they'll probably send the news. Uh, the fucking Republicans rigged the polls and shit like that. It's really supposed to be Democrat. Kamala Harris is president. You never know the way this world is. I'm just saying. And another thing, y'all attacking black men for Kamala Harris. Talking about yo, you not gonna forgive us. I didn't even vote, but you talk about you not gonna forgive us. We're not gonna forgive you for going against a real black woman. We're not gonna forgive you for going against fucking Janet Jackson, the GOAT, the only person that spoke it with her chest and was honest. We ain't forgiving y'all for doing that shit, bro. Janet Jackson. Her brother was one of the most notable figures in history, the king of pop. And y'all try to go against Janet Jackson for fucking Kamala Harris, bro. We ain't gonna forgive y'all for doing that shit, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, one of y'all overseers is back at it again with this bullshit. That's why they told this nigga to shut up and dribble in the first place. Here's what he said. Heavy on my heart and mind this AM, my princess. Promise to protect you with everything I have and more. We don't need their help. What the fuck are you even talking about? This nigga is a billionaire. His daughter is going to be fine. If I didn't know any better, I would think there was a witch hunt out against women. Like niggas just rounding up women and they're just unaliving them. Y'all Democrats got to chill and just take the L. Y'all fear one man that much? We living in some crazy times. Well, I'm going to win in this election. It's no accident. This is divine. God knew that by default, the world wouldn't elect a woman to lead. So he set it up in the most surreal way possible. Tomorrow, just remember this video. Bookmark it and come back to it after it happens. She's going to be the next president of the United States, right. whether people like it or not. She'll bring a new kind of leadership, mm -hmm. one rooted in compassion and unity. Right. This is no one but God. Whatever. So I texted my baby daddy this morning and asked him if he voted and if he did vote, who did he vote for? And his response was, I have two black daughters. Who the fuck do you think I voted for? Type shit. And that right there gave me a little bit of relief that I did not reproduce with a fucking idiot. Okay. Well, a complete idiot. Whatever. But I'm going to be nice to him for the rest of the year. Okay. For right. Right. Like, it's about to be lights out for Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. What is that? A new survey from Univision and YouGov showed that Kamala Harris has a 34% lead uh -huh. over Donald Trump. Right. 64 to 30. Ew. When Kamala wins tomorrow, I want everybody to go get a celebratory silk press. Girls, guys, days then. We can still get it. I just ain't got no, ain't got no hair. She ain't winning. Trump supporters thought they had this in the bag, but look at these numbers. He's still going down. She's still going up. Time shit. So my mom casually reaches out to me like, hey, you know, did you vote? Your brothers voted. Um, they voted for Trump. I need people to know that whether you blood, family, we close friends, if you're a Trump supporter of any kind, okay, I want nothing to do with you. Most of the people in the country? Facts, facts. He really like didn't turn the light on when he walked in the room because he needed that video to be dramatic. That was crazy. I'm literally contemplating my entire marriage right now. Right. Because my wife voted. My wife voted for Donald J. <gasps> I have the, right the lesbian. No way. No way. That's just a little highlight reel I want y'all to see. <laughs> Since Uncle Trump is in office, I would like to get the remainder of them Venezuelan SNAP benefits. How can I apply for them excess funds? Anybody know? Hit me up. Donald Trump gotta go, bitch. Come to Harris as my president.
Donald Trump got to go, bitch. Kamala Harris is my president. Bye-bye, Trump. 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 Bye-bye, Trump. 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 You voted for a candidate endorsed by the KKK. For the rest of your life, you have to know that you voted the same way as the KKK. No ifs, ands, or Black women, it's just us. It's just us and we have to lock in and organize together. I'm not talking about organizing politically. I'm talking about organizing every aspect of our existence because no one is coming to help us. It's just us and these children. We need to organize off this app, off any app. No Facebook group or nothing. Anything that can be infiltrated, we know how to organize. That's why people come to us when it's time for a movement. Let's move for ourselves. And if there's another black woman who like, uh-uh, ain't on that, bye. We're not, we not spending another moment convincing anybody of our humanity. Where has that gotten us? We have the organizational skills. We have the mental fortitude and the know-how to lock the fuck in and do what we need to do for ourselves and these kids. It's us. I'm voting for Trump. So what somebody's going to do about it? I mean, I'm going to disagree with you. So what? Yeah, does it make you feel weird that no, people... No, so what? Why is it people care about your opinion so much? Is that weird to you that people freak out about your opinions? No, they believe I have a lot of followers, this and that, but this is my opinion. If I like Donald Trump and I want to vote for him, I'm going to do it. So what? What are you going to do? Beat me up? No, I don't stop. think so. No, I'm sorry. Y'all want to know why she lost? I'm going to tell you why she lost. The Democratic Party literally had the worst marketing strategy in history. Like, I saw this loss coming like a mile away. He's racist. He's racist. He's racist. Um, your candidate is a woman. This country's far more sexist than racist. Far more. So there's that group of people that are just automatically going to vote the other way. Then you lost the plot completely with black people. I haven't seen pandering this tacky since Hillary Clinton pulled that hot sauce out of her bag. You had Joe Biden on his first campaign talking about if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. <laughs> Who the fuck? Kamala done turned her freaking rallies into the BET Awards. You got Meg Thee Stallion twerking on stage. Glorilla on stage bleeping out every other word of her song because she can't even rap her actual lyrics. Then completely lost the plot with women. You got penises swinging around kids' locker rooms and women's locker rooms. People who identified as a man yesterday and identify as a woman today are whooping women's asses in sports. Women having to encounter penises and testosterone in situations that were once sacred to them. Add that to the fact that y'all originally showed up with the same candidate who we watched falling all over himself in the street, slurring his words and losing his train of thought mid fucking pre press conference. And y'all still picked him, although y'all had Kamala as vice president at the time, which means even y'all knew she wasn't, like she wasn't going this. But y'all threw her in the game, fourth quarter anyway. Then you got the everyday Democrat thinking they could bully people into voting their way, which is actually turning people off and running people out of the party. Mind you, election happened while everybody's hungry and broke. Rent was just due. Mortgages was just due. It's after the first, and we've been under this leadership for four years, so it feels like this because of them. Then the Republicans keep stopping us. We can't get anything done because Republicans keep stopping us. So what's the point of voting for you if you can't get nothing done? Y'all gave Donald Trump a freaking Supreme Court seat when y'all let Ruth Bader Ginsburg die at damn near 100 years old in the freaking Supreme Court. It's very, very clear the Democratic Party has just been raw dogging it through life for a minute. Mind you, I voted Democrat for 16 years straight since Barack Obama's first presidency. But I knew how this was going to go. And she ain't just lose. She got her ass whooped. I'm talking about when I went and looked at the states, how the states were voting that were remaining, he was going to get over 300 electors. Like, she was getting her ass whooped. It wasn't even a close race. And as much as y'all talk shit about Donald Trump, we talking about a marketing genius. Like, if you watch documentaries about this guy or watch, like, or research him, the way he came up, the guy's a marketing genius. Like, from putting his last name on everything to marketing himself as a billionaire even before he was a billionaire. Dude been on a political campaign literally it seemed like for 40, 50 years. Your party was unprepared, does not understand what the average American's issues are and concerns are, and didn't have a candidate that stood a chance in hell. So it is what it is. And don't say, try to say it was a specific group that voted for him. Now, 
every group voted for him because the way the numbers turned out there's no way he sweeped like that without the support of everyone every demographic y'all went too far left too far pump your brakes black women i'm so excited about last night election results if you like me you've already done your crime that's why i look like this today but let me get to the good news and why i'm why this just shout because y'all for the next four years we get to rest that's right. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story about the mass deportation that happened here in Nebraska. Then we're going to move on and get to the month. We always get to the money. So his first term, y'all, he did the mass deportations in my state. And y'all know we have more cows than we have people. And so while they were kids were in school, because they work the meat processing plants here, the soybeans, um, the corn, you know, all the ag, because we're ag state. So while the kids were in school, he came and snatched them, y'all. In our state, y'all, we had the big, like the big, big Greyhound light buses. Um, and they, they shipped them out of here. <laughs> Listen, I ain't laughing at him i'm laughing with him right because it's funny and um anyway so i got death threats for helping but guess what not again sitting it out so now let's get to the money so y'all know this qualified immunity is coming but let me tell y'all black women why that's exciting so there's this company i don't give out an investment advice i'm just telling y'all what i invested in so there's this company axon it's publicly traded and they provide most like literally most in the u.s police departments they are body cameras they are tasers they even have an ai um arm of their company where even everything else on the camera they translate it in real time to do police report yeah, let me say this, y'all. It's a well-managed company. It's a very profitable company, and they stock keep going up. So I ain't saying invest. I'm just say that's where I'm hedging my bets because it started next year, and we know what's happening with qualified immunity, y'all. Because but we sitting in the tax. We ain't marching. We ain't showing up. We ain't doing nothing. I said four years of relaxation. Now I'm gonna get serious with y'all because we we done laughing at the dummies over here, right? Um, today, and I'm not playing with y'all. You go start you a business. And I don't care what kind of business it is. Don't you let 5 p.m. Don't you let 12 p. 12 a.m. catch y'all. And you ain't started your LLC. Because not only are we going to um, support each other, but even my license plate say capitalism. I'm going to tell you why. Because that's the foundation that this country was built on. Slavery, anyone? But that, listen. But what we're not going to do, we if we don't have a seat at the table, then you you what they eat at the table. And so, y'all, we ain't going to be on the menu. You're going to start your business. And then we're going to just start shadowing moves. Now, just full disclosure, my household did actually really well under his first term right because we're entrepreneurs y'all listen go start you a business and we're gonna support each other and we're gonna make the money and we're gonna chill for the next we're gonna chill for the next four years i bet not see y'all out i bet not see y'all post nothing about you know like people in cages no matter how small they are that black women that is not y'all business now listen it's 9 21 i'm gonna get to my champagne if I drop another tier or two, that ain't y'all business. But after this, we all we, we after today we boss up. See y'all on the other side of four years. Very well rested, sisters. Who was the seven percent of black women that voted for Donald Trump? Twas me. I listened and researched and experienced the last eight years. <laughs> No hesitation. Y'all feel this. Like, I y'all feel this and everything. Look at me. Y'all feel this so bad, bro. And I don't want to hear nothing about it. I don't want to, and I don't, I don't want to hear no complaints. Oh my God, you're crying on the internet. I, like, bro, like, you do not know how it felt to live with that man as president before, especially as a black woman. You do not know the way they treated us. You do not know. What disappoint me the most is black men. I'm not even going to talk about Latino men. I'm going to let their people deal with them. But I'm going to talk about black men and how y'all could have made such a big difference. Oh my God. The fact that y'all are getting on the internet actually crying tears, bitching and complaining is blowing my mind. I seen somebody get on here saying, oh, we're going to be slaves again under Trump. Like this man hasn't already been president. Oh, we're going to be slaves again. We're going to be picking cotton. And then second of all, most of the black men voted for for Kamala. I'm actually surprised. I'm I really am. Isn't it quite hilarious how they're getting on the internet and their first thought of Kamala losing was a black man? They sit here and blame the black man for the reason why they are failing. That's the fucking problem. I look at the election like Adam just snatched the apple from Eve's fucking hand and said, "No, you're not going to eat this fruit. We're not eating this." Adam just snatched the apple. <laughs> and y'all only cared about abortion. Oh, Trump's, he's trying to tell me what to do with my body. He's trying to control my body. Well, you shouldn't be out here having unprotected sex with a man you don't want to have a child with. First off, 
And some of y'all are just mad because y'all are in states, mind you. Some states are still allowing abortions to happen. But some of y'all are just mad because y'all can't abuse abortions. Some of y'all be getting two to three abortions a year by multiple men. Like, come on. And then Kamala's whole campaign was having our black women sit on stage, perform provocative songs, and shake ass on stage. Why would I vote for that? Yeah, Adam just snatched the fucking apple. Thank you. Y'all weird as fuck. Like, for real, for real, at the end of the day, you weird as fuck if you over here blocking people and talking about I'm unfollowing you, if you voted for him or if you voted for her. Uh, I'm cutting off my family members and that. Like, bro, you cutting off personal relationships that you have with people that you actually know, people that you actually see in real life, people that may have actually helped you in your situation more than these people in power or whatever. And you cutting them off because the whole point of democracy, which is allowing people to vote for what they want. So that is weird as fuck to me at the end of the day. You care that much you having, you letting these people have that much power over you and over your emotions. Um, it's a little wicked. It's a little wicked. Like, you're telling me if your mom voted for Trump or vice versa voted for Harris, you, you're, cutting them, you're cutting your mom off? Like, and some people are. That's your life. That's not mine. That's a wicked though. That is wild. Okay. Let it out. Let it out. I'm ending this video for you guys right now, and as it's coming to an end, it's just. <laughs> That's what this week has been. This is a culmination of what this week has been post-election. Some people don't really care. Some people crashed out. It's just been crazy. And there's more to come. <laughs> Much more to come. Oh, uh, update family. So right now we've been gathering information that we need to gather for my niece. We have uh, made a plan to get her. Um... I'm not going to say too much right here because the person might be watching my channel, my, my page. Somebody made a comment on the video when I put it on Facebook and then they deleted their stuff, deleted their page. So I never know what they might be looking for and I'm not going to put my niece in danger. Just know we're actively moving uh, in accordance to the laws and um, getting things in place uh, so she can be rightfully where she needs to be, legally where she needs to be. So thank you all for giving me information and sharing things. And, um, yeah, we're taking heed to everything. And uh, my brother, he's, he's making strides. So I'll keep you all updated as things go on. Appreciate, love, appreciate the love, peace, and black empowerment.